Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Tuplex. Um, we just finished uranium ammo research, and I also finished uh, nuclear weapons, atomic bomb, rather. Um, so we've gotten pretty much every technology unlocked. Uh, the only thing left for us to do at this point is to finish doing a few damage upgrades. You know, I'd like to get full upgrades on bullets turrets um, and laser turrets and that's going to be pretty much it for the research so we're almost done I did add a few mods um, just a couple small ones uh, nothing game-changing um, you know up until now I've basically been doing a vanilla playthrough but I'm already ineligible for achievements because when I started the game I was using autofill or trying to use autofill and uh, I was getting some errors and even though I uninstalled the mod since I had already started using it and saved the game that kind of disabled achievements for me so there's no harm in using a few mods now um, the ones that I installed um, the first one is called resource labels and basically what it does it's running right now you hit shift G and it'll go over the explored sections of the map and it will add an icon and if you decide to uh, a label to all the resource patches that are revealed on the map uh, when it's running it's a little bit slow um, apparently the script is somewhat intensive um, but it does highlight pretty well on the map where all of your resource patches are now with vanilla settings, uh, one thing I don't like is that, you know, for example, here you see stone and there's a couple uh, small chunks here and there where the, where the resources are not all in one patch. So you end up getting multiple labels um, next to each other. But when you have large contiguous patches like this, um, you know, you get the icon and a, and a number. Like, like over here, I just have, apparently I have one little chunk of iron left that only has 90 <laughs> pieces of iron ore on it, and it ended up putting a label. So um, that's a little bit annoying. You can delete those if you want. Um, but I'm going to leave it running for now. Uh, I think it looks like it's pretty good. Uh, this does work better on a map that uses RSO, where you just get big patches with no little bits and pieces uh, around here and there. Um, and then if you want to get rid of the labels, you can just hit Shift H and it'll remove them all. So uh, if we decide not to use them at some point, we can just do that to get rid of them. I'll add them back in later on. Uh, the other mod that I added was uh, vehicle steering or vehicle snap, I believe it's called. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to see it there. Yeah, I think it's called Vehicle Snap, and uh, that helps with the steering of your cars to help keep it in a straight line. So basically, if I, uh, you know, if I change direction, it'll keep me going straight up and down or straight left and right. It looks like it works in 22 and a half degree increments, right? So if that's zero degrees, then it can do. 22 and a half degrees, it can do 45 and so on. Uh, so that'll come in handy as well and hopefully prevent me from running into stuff. Uh, okay, that's all on the bullet damage. You can do bullet speed. Uh, and then the last, the last one that I did uh, is a mod called Nixie Tubes. And I really like this one. Uh, this allows you to add, uh, to add a display that uh, you can configure to display numbers or letters. So in this example, these are the, these are the Nixie tubes that do numbers. So if I hook these up to our oil tank, for example, and then I tell it to read oil, and then I copy those settings. Now it'll give me a display that shows how much oil we have in the two tanks. 
And actually, this will only go up to 50,000, so I only need five of them, not six. One for each digit. Okay. <laughs> Sorry for the moment of silence there. I was debating whether I should just start this recording all over again, but um, I guess I didn't. I didn't fall too far behind. Uh, all right. So as I was saying, so we could configure a display here, for example, to show how much oil we have in the tank. All right, you set this to oil. Um, the condition actually doesn't mean anything. You just set what it is that you wanted to count and then set them all to the same number and it'll display the contents. Um, and then there's an alpha Nixie tube as well. Uh, for this one, you need to use combinators. Yeah, and actually this will be better if the combinators are on the bottom. Let me try this again. All right, so you hook, uh, you hook a constant combinator up to each one. Oops. And then you can set these to a letter or a symbol. So in this case, we can say OI L. There. And now we can see how much oil we have and we know what this number means. So pretty cool for building displays, um, just to help you keep an eye on things in the base. So I'm not sure how much I'm going to use that later, but I think it's a pretty cool mod. Alrighty. So, um, back to business. Nuclear power is now in good shape. Everything appears to be running just fine. Uh, we are pulling 220 megawatts and we have plenty of reserve. So what I'd like to do now is start making some solid fuel. Um, so first we need to decide where to go. Um, as I mentioned previously, I'd like to use oil for the solid fuel uh, rather, than, rather than coal. Um, that patch is 60, that's seven, that's eight. Looks like this is the richest of the patches. Um, but this one will be easier to reach by rail. So I think I'll go for this one just because it's closer and easier to get to. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and uh, build some rail over there. Uh, rather than do the time lapse, uh, you see me do this before, I'm just going to cut away. And then uh, once I extend this rail line out here and um, get a junction down here to set up the train station, then I will be back. See you in a minute. Okay, and I'm back. Um, as promised, I extended the rails. I did leave the radar that I had at that U-turn in place, just so we can keep scanning the area. Although since fighter expansion is turned off now, um, I think that has limited you, so I'll probably pick that up actually. In fact, what I can do is I'll mark it for deconstruction now, and then when I fly past on the train, <laughs> my bots will go grab it and eventually they'll come back to me. Okay, so we're here at the oil patch. Um, as I was coming over here, the uh, the artillery wagon started firing at bases that were close by. Um, I think it would be nice if you could turn off the auto fire somehow. Um, just because when it does that, uh, the biters will start coming towards you. And, uh, I had to kind of stop what I was doing immediately and scramble to get some turrets set up before they got here. So, um, I think it would be nice if you could switch it on. Uh, once it gets deployed so that you don't get any surprises. But 
in any case, um, I've got 16 pump jacks with me. So let's start setting those up. And I'll just do like eight on each side of the center line, which we'll say is over here. Now in this case, these will have to face sideways so we can get a pipe down. Same here, since they're uh, in line with one another. So that's two, four, six. So we'll do two more over here. And we'll do, that's two, four, six, seven, eight. Okay. Um, and then we'll just run a pipe like that. And then start connecting everything to the pipe. Now, um, I noticed that I wasn't at my main base long enough to get more pipes, or maybe I used, maybe I used up some of the pipes when I was crafting the pump jacks. So I'm going to have to run back to get more pipe pretty soon, but, um, that'll be another cut in the video. So you don't have to wait for me to go back and do that. like that actually I could probably craft some pipes while we're doing this okay I think everything's hooked up Let's get our next level of research going. I'm just doing laser turret damage now. Okay, and... There, everything's connected. So this is the payoff for all that uh, coordination of the of the lines. There, you get nice grid patterns when you look at your power grid on the map. Okay, and then we'll put one of these there, and then I want to put these into a tank we can place right there. All right, how are we doing on radar coverage? Uh, we should have another radar down here, which we can put right there. A couple of turrets. Actually, let's put one there. And then we should put another turret over here someplace, so just so we get the whole region under turret coverage. Um, I think once we get solid fuel started, I'm gonna start making laser turrets so we can start replacing these with lasers so that we don't have to worry about resupplying with ammo. Okay, um, so I'm just gonna build a quick U-turn down here so I can get turned around. There we go. And I'm going to head back to the main base and resupply. I will be back in just a minute. All right, and I'm back. Uh, got loaded up with some more pipes. Hopefully we'll have enough to get this done. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and craft a few more just in case. All right, so uh, we've got the oil being pulled out of the ground. So I'm gonna put a pump on the output for this tank. And we'll need to power that up. And 
and I'll pump it up here and we'll set up the production here. Uh, get a little closer to the main line so that the train doesn't have as far to, follow, or to travel. All right, so um, I'm not sure how much I need at this point, so I'm just gonna start by setting up eight refineries. Um, one thing that we have to decide is whether to use basic or advanced oil. Uh, basic oil processing will give us 30 light oil from 100, and advanced will give us 45. Uh, so I think we definitely want advanced oil processing. Um, and the reason for that is that light oil can make twice as much solid fuel as heavy oil or petroleum can. So we want as much light oil as possible. Now heavy oil, obviously we can crack into light oil. Um, actually, let's take a look at that. So advanced gives us 55 oil. Ah, yeah, actually let's, uh, let's do basic. Reason for that, even though we get more light oil directly with advanced oil processing, our total, well, let me think about this again. 30 heavy, we can convert into 30 light. If we crack heavy into light, no, we can't. Heavy into light takes 40 heavy and that'll give us 30 light. So if we do basic, um, that 30 heavy will give us a little bit less than 30 light oil, maybe like 23, 24, something like that. Plus the 30 would be 50 some, 50 some light and 40 petroleum. In this case, we get 45 light and 55 petroleum. Let me get my calculator. All right, so the 30 heavy times four, or no, 30 heavy times three divided by four because of the ratio on heavy to light, that gives us 22.5 plus 30. So that's 52.5 light and 40 crude versus 45, yeah, and then 55. You know, that heavy will turn into about seven and a half. So we'll end up with the same amount of light oil and actually more petroleum for the same amount of crude oil if we do advanced. Yeah, so advanced is, is the better way to go here. All right, uh, laser turret damage is done. We got a couple levels of laser turret shooting speed we can do, so let's work on that. Let's get these refineries hooked up to power. Uh, we're gonna need to bring some water in. Let's see here. Okay, and this oil is in exactly the wrong place. So let's just Shift it over by three. That's kind of a bummer. All right. So we'll hook up the oil first. And then the water. And this is pretty much the same thing that we did over in the main base. And then we hook all these oil lines up. And looking at the mini map, it looks like we do have some water sources not too far away. Let's see, uh, looks like this body of water is the closest. So let me run over there. We'll make an offshore pump, which I said correctly for once, since I'm always calling it an underground pump instead. Go one more underground pipe length. Now let's go up two more. And then we'll 
cut over. Wow, how lucky is that? pipes I'm almost out all right now here um, again similar to similar to what we did in the main base I'm gonna leave space for beacons I'm actually not going to use any storage tanks for the fluids in this case um, just because I don't have any use for it besides just turning it all into solid fuel so I'm not going to store the oil or anything like that. All right, and I'm at a pipe, so I'll be right back. Let me go get some more. All right, and I'm back. Sorry for the relative lack of preparedness here. Didn't have quite enough pipe in my logistics requests, but uh, I think I got enough to finish this off now. Let's see, so we need one, two, three spaces. Is that enough? Yes, it is. All right, that's just enough for a beacon. Okay, so now everything's running and everything is connected together. All right, so the first task is to, uh, and I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave more space for beacons here too. Let's move this over one, there we go. All right, so the first task is going to be to convert heavy into light. Perfect. And let's um, get our water up there. All right. So that just will give us some places that we can tap into the water line right here, for example. some power there all right so that's heavy into light I'll leave a space and then we'll do light to solid fuel uh, that's really the only cracking that we're going to be doing now let's just check our ratio this does 40 heavy oil every three seconds at a speed of 1.25 so that's sorry 40 processes 40 heavy oil That's 10.67 per second. Is that right? Uh, sorry, I'm a little tired. My math isn't working properly. Let me do this again. All right, 40 divided by 3. That's 13.3 per second. And then we have a crafting speed of 1.25. So I multiply that by 1.25. All right, so we can process 16... 0.7 heavy oil per second. Now down here, we're making two per second per refinery, right? Because it's 10 for five seconds. 
the crafting speed is one, thank God. Uh, so that's two per second. We have eight of those, that's 16 per second. So one machine cracking the oil, heavy oil is going to be enough. All right. Now in this case, we don't need to space these out too far for water because the only input is the light oil. All right, and then we need to do that to get that light oil down here. And we can just run a pipe all the way across like that. Except right here, I am going to do that just so I have a space to get through. And then we can, no, we can't connect that there because that's not going to give us any room for a beacon if we do that. So I think what we could do is, no, because that's got to connect. Hmm. How can we get the light oil up there without creating a problem for the beacon? I don't think we can unless we come out the side. Yeah, we could do that. Let's see how that works. We could come out the side like this. Okay, now all the heavy oil is connected. Okay, so let's get these powered up. And let's figure out how many of these we need. Now here we are getting 30 light oil in three seconds. That's 10 per second, 12 and a half per second because of the crafting speed. And then each of these consumes 10 light oil in three seconds. which is going to be 3.33. And then again, we multiply that times the 1.25 crafting speed. So each of these will consume 4.1 per second. And then down here, we are producing Sorry, I was just writing that down. Down here, we're producing 45 divided by five times eight. All right, so down here, we're making 72 light oil per second plus the 12.5 from the cracking. That's 84 and a half light oil per second. And then we divide that by 4.17. All right, so we need 20 of these machines making solid fuel from light oil. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Wow, good thing I have just barely enough room. That seems like an awful lot. Let me double check my math here. Forty five divided by five is nine per second. Times eight machines, that's seventy two. No, I don't think my math was right. Plus another twelve point five. That's 84 and a half. Eighty four and a half light oil per second. 
These take 10 every 3 seconds times 1.25. This is 4.17, so 82.5 divided by 4.17. Yeah, I need 20 machines. Okay. That's right. Um, maybe it would be better to do two rows of 10, however. So that's two, four, six, eight, nine, and 10. So let's pick those up and let's just duplicate this on the other side. plants. Alright, and I'm probably going to need uh, blue belts over here. It's not producing anymore, I think, just because we're backed up on on petroleum. All right, so let's figure out what we need for petroleum. Um, all right, cracking petroleum uses 20 petroleum gas every three seconds times 1.25, so it's going to consume 8.3 petroleum per second per machine. All right, and petroleum, we are making 55 divided by 5 seconds. That's 11 per second times 8 machines. That's 88 per second. We divide that by 8.3. And we need 11 machines cracking petroleum or converting petroleum into solid fuel. All right, I've taken up enough time already. So I'm going to set up the petroleum portion of this, which will basically be half of this, two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. I'll set that up there and then I'll work on getting it loaded into trains so that we can move it back to the main base. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, sorry this took so long. If you have any questions, please let me know, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.